Good morning and welcome to the DFS Army YouTube channel. I am Rez11 and you can find me on X at Rez11Grinds. Going to take a look at pitching for today, the 16th of September. It is Monday. We do have a nine game main slate. Um, a little shocked it is nine games on a Monday. Um, but this is a first look at pitching. Um, I will be looking at DraftKings, as that is where a majority of my action is. If you play on FanDuel, I would cut my pool into about a half or a third, as we don't have to be as creative. Scoring system a little different. Pricing isn't as tight to get our stacks, etc. Um, looking at the GPP options here on DraftKings, we see some stuff kind of cut out. Um, kind of annoying uh i i realized it's monday night football um but still kind of a little disrespectful uh to the mlb world uh if you ask me just looking at the options um the one dollar mini max up to uh the 250 um the 121 isn't all that amazing. There is a 111. Uh, problem being there's 33% of it goes to first. But uh, not a terrible contest. Uh, just could be better. So let's just take a look. I haven't read anything about weather or anything at all. So we are just going to go based on uh, you know, what we see here as our first look. At the top we get Paul Skeens. Taking on a St. Louis squad that he has faced twice and dominated. Yet yeah, is 0 and 1. Excuse me. 0 and 1 against them through those two starts. Eight and a third. Two runs allowed and took the lost loss. Um, six and a third with zero runs allowed in the other one. So. Uh, he's pitching on the road where he's been re absolutely ridiculous. There's some some rumors about having his uh, innings kind of monitored. He is getting an extra day or two of rest between starts now. Um, I think that's just that's a way to monitor the inning. So maybe maybe we don't see them monitor them in game per se. Um, I mean, he did throw 98 pitches last time, 100 pitches the, the start before. Uh, so he probably shouldn't be too worried about it. Um, he is a minus 142 road favorite. K prop of 6.5. Juice is on the over. 6.5 does feel low, but then you realize he's struck out just 6 in 3 out of his last 5 starts. Um, definitely could be a product of a, a long season as well. Uh, Numbers kind of fall back down to, to Earth, I guess you could say, even though I think Earth for Paul Skeens is um, above six strikeouts, to be honest. But anyways, we get Yamamoto, who made his return from the IL, looked pretty strong against the Cubs. 59 pitches, which means we're probably only going to see him around 75. Uh, the Dodgers have to keep him healthy. Uh, so many injuries in their rotation. K prop of six and a half, which you slightly on the under. Uh, his he is a minus one fifteen favorite. Uh, not the easiest of matchups, of course. Uh, but I think there's upside. The problem is again, seventy five, maybe eighty pitches. Uh, it doesn't seem overly strong, but. Maybe he, it's enough to get there. Um, obviously, he just threw 59 pitches and got 23 fantasy points. Didn't factor into the decision. So, in reality, you know, based on that with the increase, um, he's got 30 fantasy point upside, even in a limited start. Um, so, it's pretty pretty tough to ignore that. Uh, Shota Imanaga, a minus 205 favorite. Game total of seven and a half right now. 
Um, I would assume that means uh, there's no real wind in Wrigley um, or even slightly blowing in. I just haven't had a chance to look. This K prop sitting at six and a half. Uh, home runs could be an issue, and that's an issue with this Oakland squad. Um, but his numbers at home have been phenomenal. There we mentioned the home runs. Gave up three solo home runs in his last start. Uh, I think Imanaga is going to be, you know, one of the, the more popular options on this slate. He and Skeens probably carry some decent ownership. You know, Minaya probably does as well. Uh, Reed Detmers, plenty of upside. Maybe even Merrill Kelly in Colorado. Um, but that, that one we'd have to look into a little bit more. Ranger Suarez started the season absolutely phenomenally. Uh, come back down quite a bit in the, the second half. Dealing with some arm issues, etc. But uh, his numbers on the road have been really strong. He's got a chance to finish the regular season pretty strong. His K-Prop's just four and a half. Um, but he is a minus 118 favorite. I think I'm going to be a little interested in him, um, but I don't know that he offers the same kind of upside that he showed in the first half of the season. If I remember correctly, the Brewers' overall roster numbers against left-handed pitching isn't all that strong, um, so there is a route for a big game from Suarez. Uh, I'm just not sure he can get there. With that said, he definitely has... GPP winning upside uh, for us, so we are going to want to include him. Seth Lugo, definitely going to make the pool as well. Two starts against Detroit this season, one run allowed. Uh, it's been absolutely phenomenal. He is pitching at home where he's not as strong, but still uh, coming off an elite performance against the Yankees. Four out of his last five starts have been excellent. Um He's a minus 148 favorite. K-Prop of five and a half. Uh, a lot of things to like. Um, to be honest, there's, I mean, ended up being a lot more names here that I have interest in, in spots. So um, maybe it's not that bad of a, a slate to attack. Trump and I uh, shut down Washington the first time we faced them. Pitching at home, where his K numbers are stronger, but he allows more runs. Uh, home run rate skyrockets. Um, actually doubles almost. More than doubles uh, since he's thrown less home innings. Uh, walks could be an issue, but strikeouts have been there quite a bit lately. Um, I have to look to see what Washington's done in the second half from a strikeout standpoint. First half of the season, they weren't a strong strikeout team, uh, but still... Uh, a plus matchup for him. A K prop of six and a half. Juice is on the under, but he is a minus one ninety two favorite. So uh, definitely somebody that's going to be utilized a decent chunk. Max Reed. I'm just not sure I'm going to go there against the Dodgers. Um, the Dodgers got to him the first time he faced them. Uh, he still was solid from a fantasy point standpoint, despite giving up four runs, um, but. I just don't think we need to go to Max Fried in this spot. Arigetti, not really. San Diego doesn't strike out a whole lot. You Darvish um, finally looked decent against Seattle, but even then, like his, he didn't get the the strikeout numbers that we thought he might we thought he might get against a team like Seattle. Um, home run issues since his return, three of them in seven and two thirds. Uh, probably not something I want to do with, against Houston. Reed Detmers taking on the White Sox. Definitely interested. A minus 192 favorite. K-Prop of 6.5 with Juice pretty solidly on the over. Obviously been a, a rough season for Detmers. Um, but since being recalled, he's put up two strong starts. Does give up a couple runs. Um... You know, so I'm not expecting him to absolutely shut down the White Sox, but 18 strikeouts in 12 innings. Uh, the guy has thrown a no-hitter at the major league level. Uh, still 
super young. Uh, I like him. I, I mean, a lot of people are going to be on him, let's be honest. Payante, no, I don't, I mean, walks have been a huge issue. Uh, might have to raise my interest in pit stacks a little bit. Uh, walks just lead to such big innings that uh, it's tough for starting pitchers to come back from. Uh, Jake Irvin has enough upside. Uh, he had one bad start and I think one really good start against the Mets. If I can find the second one here. Just to get, oh, yeah, he went back to back. He absolutely shut them down and then got lit up. Um, the Mets lineup does become weaker without Lindor. He tried to give it a go on Sunday and then left the game with more back issues. Uh, I would put it at a, a 0% chance that he's going to play. So Irvin does get a little boost in that regard. I'm just not sure I want to go there. Um, K-Prop of 4.5. And like I mentioned with Manaya, Washington is an underdog. So, um, and Reese Olsen making his return. I'm not really sure. Um, if we're going to end up going to Reese Olsen. Yeah. Most recent rehab start was 45 pitches. Um, probably not worth it at that point. Merrill Kelly has made two starts against Colorado, uh, beaten them both times. He's not the greatest road splits guy. Um, one of those two starts did come in Colorado back in April. Um, I'm going to have to dig into his, his history pitching in Colorado. Uh, obviously, you know, we've been picking on Colorado with pitching, so that's why I have some interest there. But uh, it is Coors it might not be a spot where we have to force it in, to be honest. Um, so I would kind of put him on the, the cusp of potentially making my builds. Um, the only other guy I was considering really is Estes, especially if the wind's blowing in at all in Wrigley. Um, the Cubs coming out of uh, a Coors series, I do believe, over the weekend. I'm not sure if that was middle of last week or the weekend, though. Uh, so that... Intrigues me a little bit. I generally like to pitch, pick on teams coming out of Coors Field as well. So, But there we have it. There's our first look at pitching. If you enjoy what I bring to you, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Turn the notification bell on. Get the alert anytime we drop videos here at TFS Army. If you want to join us and get access to our coaches, tools, sheets, Discord, etc. I will put links in the description below. You can use promo code RAZ. That's R-A-Z for 10% off monthly. And as always, best of luck, everybody.